Hey, my lighting is bad as usual. Um, no titles, no nothing today except for the the one one or two bookends uh, that I made. And that's it. I have a different perspective on all of this. Nostalgia critic isn't being nostalgic. While I do enjoy Nostalgia Critic, Cinema Sins, and all these others, I want to point out there's a difference, and this is completely reshot footage. I had uh, a different video planned but that's not being uploaded now. How is Nostalgia Critic and similar people different than Siskel and Ebert? and why we should strive to be like Siskel and Ebert. Siskel and Ebert had a nationally syndicated television show, 30 Minutes, by Disney, which was originally on, um, I think, a PBS station, but in the end, Disney was distributing Siskel and Ebert. And what Siskel and Ebert would do is, when they would talk about movies, sometimes they would show a poster with a thumbs or a um, thumbs up, thumbs down, or whatever. Usually there was a small montage where Siskel or Ebert would talk about the film, and then they would talk about the film. That's fair use. And they're allowed to make a profit from that because they're providing information, review, and critique. Not ridicule. I've had videos flagged, sure, and um, I've learned how to get rid of certain things. Now, there's a reason my Mario Kart 8 videos have no music anymore. Because Nintendo flags the music. Um, I'm not going to get into the legality of the music being a cover or not, and I still stand behind that copyrights, patents, and trademarks should only be issued for two years and no more. That's irrelevant here. Is Google's process broken? Sure. Be creative. Get around it. Can you get around it? I've gotten around it. And when I get flagged... Oh, excuse me. I have a, another computer right here. See, you can see it reflecting off my hand. I, um, I, I have multiple computers. You have to be the ally. And if your show, in Nostalgia Critic's case, his show is called Nostalgia Critic. There's nothing nostalgic about Jurassic World. There's nothing nostalgic about The Man of Steel. There's nothing nostalgic of Star Wars Episode Seven. That's the current critic. He hasn't remembered it yet for anybody. His commercial videos... Though, those are nostalgic. When he reviewed, um, he did an editorial on Sailor Moon's Age. That's nostalgic. Um, even American Beauty. That's nostalgic. That's where he should fight for fair use. In the Cisco and Ebert format. Introduction. Brief. I'm talking brief mon montage. One to two minutes. Condensing and summarizing and exploiting the film in one to two minutes. And then talks of his review using stills like a newscaster. Uh, let's see here. See where my American flag is? That's where a newscaster thing would be if I was doing a newscast right now. That's where it should be. So he can show a still from here or there or whatever. He doesn't have to do these sketches or anything like that. That's more or less how he started, actually. Um, as far as Cinemasca goes, uh, it's a little bit different. Um, here's a guy who screams and rages and everything at these video games. Yet, how many Rob the Robots were sold after his Rob the Robot episode? How many people went out and bought Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde after his Jekyll and Hyde episode? There are people out there who say, I got all the games on, on Angry Video Game Nerd. That's pretty cool. Um, 
what about roll the long plays? Well, I know he gets a lot of flags, but on roll of long plays, that's still promoting the game. A person sees that and goes, oh, I want to play that. There's been times I had to go to roll the long plays when I could not figure out what to do in an old game because I forgot how, or there's no documentation available on some obscure game that happens to be at roll the long plays. So, um, there's another one right there, roll the long plays. Um, is that fair use, though? Yeah, more or less. The key here is, and I've, I've spoken with a content creator um, on, in the big time, at a big company. He would absolutely, he said, if something he created was ridiculed and mocked by critic, he would flag it. And that's the difference between fair use and exploitation. Critic used to be fair use, now he's exploitation. Um, I don't know if Cinema Sins or Honest Trailers being. Uh, there's Oliver Harper. Oliver Harper, if you know him, he's a British film critic on YouTube. And uh, there was another guy who did James Bond films. Cannon Dyson? Dyson Cannon? Clayton? Whatever. Uh, I don't know. Um, gaming History Source. Um, Retrocore. These all promote the products they're showing. The Nostalgia Critic hasn't. Now, I don't mean to rag on Nostalgia Critic, but there's a lot of people out there who want to take previously produced content. And um, regardless of my feelings, the current copyright way it's enforced is the current copyright way it's enforced. Get creative. Get around it. Um, if you have to make a video private or whatever, that's what you have to do sometimes until you can get the situation real. Yeah, that's right. Privatize the freaking video. Do you know how many, you know, I, I get it. I'm not, I'm not the most watched channel on YouTube. I keep a lot of stuff privatized. Go, go through that. You will see a shitload of stuff privatized by me. So, while I do stand with Critic, at the same time, I don't. Because there are things that need to be addressed. Um, some guy, um, I can't remember, he has a thunderclap. And I like his points. His points make sense. But at the same time, what's with the trend of, of, of all the current stuff? Oh, money. Right. We all want money. And this is how it's going to be. Get a real job. Sorry. It's truth. You don't like truth? I can't do anything about that. That's the truth. Go out and get a real job. It sucks. Nobody wants a real job where they have to report in and bust their ass 10 to 12 hours a day because busting your ass sucks. Yeah, it does. But that's life. There's no easy way around this. Grumpy Bear Plays will never turn a profit. Nobody likes my videos. It's the truth. Okay, that's not true because there are upvotes and there are some frequent viewers, but... Nevertheless, I assume that there's 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 100 million viewers. And I'm in the fair play category because I've been flagged for fair use. What, what has happened? Uh, I mean, there's one video where I took Star Trek game footage and slapped on Star Trek music that wasn't flagged as a joke. Flag me? Fine. Let, let me get around it then. So you have to get around the flags, and if you can't, then maybe, just maybe, this ain't for you. Maybe it's time to take a new approach. Oh, I don't know. Get rights and clearances right now from the Big Eight. You have to figure out who the Big Eight for you. You know, Sony, Comcast, National Amusements, MGM, Warner Brothers, whatever. Disney. Go out and get permission. Write for permission. Do what Cisco and Ebert and I love the 80s, 90s, and 70s did. Do what GameStop, or the GameSpot, GameSpot TV did. Get rights and clearances. 
or try to have everything that you find be truly in the public domain or licensed for creative uses. Yes, it's fair use of prior art to create a new derivative work from that prior art. And no, it's not fair. It's not fair at all. It is actually wrong for a company to say we're going to make royalties off a movie that was made in, in 1930s. They have the power. You know. They can buy politicians. They can control elections. They can control your life. They can sue you and make your life very miserable. Oh, well, that's tyranny. Sure. But that's the way it goes. And if it affects you from getting up in the morning, if it, if it takes food out of your mouth, if it makes sure that if you have a child and that child cannot get fed and doctor appointments and clothing, and it makes your life miserable, then this isn't for you. This is for people who are willing to stick it out in the long run. And that's all I have to say about it. I don't care if you agree or disagree. I'm with TGN. I don't mean to offend them. But I wanted to get this viewpoint a year after my other video out. And thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, you, you can debate my points all you want on, in the comments section. All I can say is thanks. It's just a different perspective. Try to be an ally and a friend to the Hollywood and video game machines. Don't be their enemy. Try to work with them. That's true salesmanship. That's all it comes down to is if you want money, you've got to make a sale.